Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you what I did with the charging system on here on this Oliver 60. Uh, it did not charge, so you will see what I did to it to get it to char charge. This is a positive ground system and 6 volt. So the positive is grounding. This is a red wire, it's supposed to be black, but that's what it's got. And then the negative would be going up to the starter push button. So if you got a tractor, any brand that's a similar setup, this video should hopefully help you out. All right, so I took the generator off. I'm gonna check this voltage rate letter out and see what's what's up with it. I don't think it's working. It's gonna take a peek. See what she looks like. I don't see anything obvious. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand these. They're just like points, if you have points and condenser in your ignition. They work similar. They go up and down real quick here. Contacts. These brushes and the generator look decent. So I don't think it's done. I'm gonna try doing this and then I'll put it back on. I'll polarize it and I'll put it back on tomorrow although it's getting dark out. So for this you're just gonna do just like the points. There's already spring pressure on them. And this might fix it, I don't really know. Oh, I see good copper color. I'm using a 400 grit sandpaper. All right, I think that's gonna work. So I'll put it back together, and then tomorrow I'll put it on. So tomorrow for you will be instantly. All right, so let's put this generator back on. And then we'll see if it's going to work. I'm going to get the belt on first. All right, so I'm gonna hook the battery up and then we will uh, polarize it, hopefully. Okay, so it should be between B and G. So this is bat, this is gen. Did you see the spark? So I'm gonna see if it'll work. I'll start it up and see if it'll charge.
hurt him yet. Try doing it again. charge now it's acting pretty weird though I polarized it a little bit more I gave it a couple sparks and I don't know I guess it's somewhat charging but seem to be real reliably charging. Putting the lights on here. Well, it's a 6-volt battery, so that's 10 volts there. It's at least putting some in. Now it looks like I'm getting higher than six. But you need you need over six volts. Six volt battery is probably putting out six and a half. So you need at least probably seven, seven and a half, eight to charge it. So it's pretty close to that. But right now it looks like it's charging. One thing with generators is they need to turn faster RPM to charge hard. Like an alternator will charge hard at a slower speed. These need to turn faster. So far it's still charging. There's the lights on and the lights off. Looks like it's working decent though. If it wants to go stop charging, it's probably the voltage regulator. The brushes look fine to me. 